post-workout. Now, that's usually the golden ticket that most people, I'd say about 80% of the people that come to our gym, right? So I own Snap Fitness Kenosha here. And of course we have our team at Adams Prep, our online coaching brand. I'd say about 80% of people that come to us are missing out on either the timing or the type or the volume, right? The amount of food that they should be eating post-workout. Post-workout, I like to stick with a fast digesting protein and a fast digesting carbohydrate usually a little bit starchier for the carbohydrate. And again, this does vary depending on your specific needs and goals. But let's just say on average, you normally want to refuel, replenish glycogen. You want to spike your glucose and insulin and start that recovery process right away by flooding your body with essential amino acids and uh, a full spectrum protein, right? So post-workout, I, tr I like to keep this within, um, you know, let's say 30 to 60 minutes at the most of uh, from the time you finish your really intense weight training, you got that kind of 30 to 60 minute window where you want to get this next meal in, right? And normally we'll stick with an, a protein isolate. So very fast digesting, usually hydrolate, um, hydrolyzed whey isolate, uh, fast digesting or starchy carbs. So you could do white rice, you could do more cream of rice, you know, even bagels are very common. 